What is up everybody, it's your big man Thor H13 and today I got a little hot fix for you guys that want to play Crisis and Crisis Warhead but you have an AMD bulldozer processor. Okay, yeah I've been come I've been I've been on the origin uh thing for a long time trying to get this fixed and they couldn't even help me out. I found this fix on the Steam forums and I'm pretty sure it might work for Origin, but I because it has to do with the bin 32 folder inside the crisis um in inside the crisis directory so basically uh let me let me let me change it back to how it was where is it steam uh steam apps common and then your crisis folder let me use warhead since it's, i've already done of this so this is the old one let me rename this one to new so it doesn't get picked up new let me rename this just bin32 basically oh wait gotta rename that ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, there we go I guess no it, it fixed itself okay anyway without this here it, it won't even recognize this so let, let's see what this looks like when we try to launch the game crisis warhead I'm gonna see if it works for crisis as well because I've been having problems I just get this black screen error so let's see if we get this black screen error okay there's the black screen and seems to me that yes it has a black screen error It's just not even coming up. Hmm. hmm. Wonder if I alt tab if it will mess up and whatnot. Okay. See that it just doesn't work. But if you basically what I did was I took all the contents of the 64-bit. This is, of course, if you're running 64-bit, uh, you sh this is you w it's where you're running the problem. Uh, if you're running 64-bit Windows 7 or something like that, uh, take everything that's in the 64-bit, copy, copy and paste it into a new folder, which I already did, and rename it. Rename the old one bin 32 old just so if you if there comes out with a fix you can uh, you can take out the new one completely and put back in the other one and apply the patch it just makes it easier and just change it uh, the new folder to bin 32 all right so we got that changed all that so let's give it another try That would really suck if this didn't work. Launching, launching, is it launching? Huh. Let's let's try to launch it again. Ah, oh, there we go. I think. Um, that's still launching. Up. Oh. See something in the background? Well, it kind of weird. Let me alt tab. There we go. I mean, alt enter, alt enter twice, and boom, we got it playing. So that's how you fix it for Warhead. I'm. I heard it works with Crisis as well. And I'm pretty sure if you could just go into the install directory of the Origin. Uh, game for crisis and you should be able to do the same thing and for it to work all right it's your big man thor age 13 man nvidia the only thing they got going for them is that um <laughs> intel core 2 duo <laughs> uh i wish i wish nvidia didn't like buy physx so everyone can have it but yeah that's how you get crisis warhead and Crisis, I'm pretty sure it works on Crisis as well. It's, uh, I've read in there and whatnot. That's how you get that working. On a FX motherboard chipset and 60, 64 bit. 
Alright, you guys have a wonderful day. And I'm gonna play me some Crisis. Oh, wait, also, I heard that the uh, multiplayer doesn't really work for um, for this. I, I'm not for sure, but I heard the multiplayer doesn't work since the Punk Buster doesn't work with the 64 bit client. But uh, I haven't tested that out, so please don't hold it against me. If it does, I'm just putting that out there. There have been reports of it not working. So, yeah, it's your big man Thor813. Until next time, have a great day.